Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about uh, how you can use uh, member wise clone in C sharp. So let's get started. Basically, I have a class called clone demo and I have a few fields, uh, reference field, essentially a string and then integer and then another, uh, ref another reference class called author. And I provided a constructor which basically takes these three things and uh, makes an object out of it. And I also have one simple method called clone. And uh, what it does is that uh, the current object is essentially copied uh, using a shallow copy. And I was just going to demonstrate how this works. So what you can do is on the object itself, you can call a Microsoft provided a function or method that is available for every object called member wise clone and we'll clone that do a shallow copy of that and make an object and here I'm just returning that object. So when you say clone it will return this and I have a simple function equal which basically takes the object of similar types and if there is some field that is not equal it just kind of prints it out and uh, the other function other method other class we have is just the author or reference class and it's pretty similar it has a string of authors and a list of string of books and it has a, a simple method equal which uh, goes through and checks to uh, see whether uh, the object that is being supplied is equal to it or not. So let's uh, look at the code where it is invoked. It's invoked when I hit the button. So I'm going to have a previous run. So I'm going to play, play it. So here I clean, uh, made an author uh, object and uh, that I can give it to the object first to get the first object clone demo for calling the constructor and then I get a second object which is basically the clone of this one so that's the, dem the demonstrated use of clone and then I go in and change uh, the first object's name to be Yogesh instead of Gore and I change the first book that is there to be Tarzan and you can see the two books I had was Art of Programming and Mystery in Austin and then I just print the object first and the object second and it the way it prints it it prints all the fields and it tells you what field it is printing and you can kind of uh, visibly tell whether something has changed or not. So if I just run it, uh, what you can see is uh, the first object, the name has changed to Yogesh, which we expected. And this, uh, uh, on the second one is still the original one, the Gore, and 100 and 100 Gore, Gore. But the mystery, uh, this uh, object is uh, actually was just referring to only one object because it's a shallow copy. So it has changed to Tarzan in both and it tells you here that name is not equal. So you can see that that's not what we wanted. We wanted in this case to be able to, uh, I mean it's good that the strings uh, even though they are reference object the member wise clone works fine but we didn't want to have to effect the change here uh, for the book. So the easiest way to uh, make this uh, simple change is what you can do is uh, if you go to this uh, method here, I'm going to show it to you and uh, I'm going to uncomment this basically this line and uh, once I uncomment it, what it is going to do is in the object, the info object which was uh, this one, uh, the info object and I'm going to invoke uh, the clone on it and the method clone is what this essentially does is it's going to essentially return a new object, it says new author and since the book was a complex object of list of strings, it's going to change it to a list and return this. So it will get end up getting a copy. So let me just run this and uh, see if we get the desired behavior. Okay, so I have the program running. So let's see what happens if I click on the button. Uh, let me just start it again. So here you can see that uh, the, the book is Tarzan in one case, Mystery in Austin, and it is uh, art of programming the original one and that's what we end up getting book and index zero is not equal. So basically the method is that you can use member wise clone to do a shallow copy and if you have other reference the complex objects uh, what you want to do is uh, make a copy of them in the, in the traditional way in the cloning and that should work for you. So thank you for watching this short screencast. If you want to watch this and other videos you can also go to my website gorsociates.com and you have a great day.